what does that, um, what does that mean? Why are you going to take your bike to the chop shop? Oh, I just thought about taking it there. Nah, come on. Getting it fixed up. You're going to take your bike to the chop yeah. shop and try to get it fixed up? Yep. At there. Try to get it fixed up, trying to get it up and going. Okay. At the chop shop. Yep. Well, that um, could work for you. What's that? Yeah, you could just tell you were pissed. Yeah. Uh, well, it's just like. And obviously, you're gonna be upset. And like. Yeah. Honestly, I would have told you had I thought. Like I've told the girls, I still had no idea who exactly the five votes were gonna be. Yeah. And if it was gonna go through, I kind of thought because they are close to you i kind of thought it would maybe a setup to like get me further away from you guys right. and then parha stays and then it's also voting against yeah. parha yeah but no it's i kind of so i kind of thought it would be like two seven or whatever yeah but i was like what else can i do but like try this yeah. because yeah i feel like so alone i feel like i have absolutely yeah. no one no like from a game perspective like i like that was a good move for you know like it's hard for me to be like you shouldn't have done it it sucks but dude, because but I, I like, know that I just felt like responsible and, and, and like it just like I just like feel like crap just because I think I sent him out the door you know he did it himself too yeah. he threw that veto comp yeah right so you can't ever feel that comfortable in this game and it made me think that whole time I was like okay so, yeah, I tell Parha everything as per the plan. Mm -hmm. And he tells me nothing and kind of manipulates me. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. Like, we're real talk here. Yeah. And, Bobby, okay, and then I gave him, and then I was like, okay, like, just gave him a chance to be like, okay, like, tell me what's up. Like, what's going on? I'm all alone, right? Yeah. And nothing and I can tell when he's being phony yeah. I'm just like no no like this was always legit legit but at the same time telling me that like it was okay for Johnny to go it was okay for like Neha mm -hmm. to go no one really cared and like that yeah. me leaves me 100% alone with yeah. no one yeah and then when like okay this was it too one night me and Parhar were in the have not room and he's like let me just go in here and talk to Zach and Ashley remember that night then the, and then me, you, and Parha met at the kitchen, yeah. and Ashley came down. Yeah. So if I'm not allowed in conversations with the three of you, but Ashley's allowed in conversations with the three of us, yeah. what does that say to me? Yeah. That something's going on I have no fucking idea about. Yeah. And that you guys are all got each other's back, and no one has my back. Yeah. Yeah. And like you guys even know, like, I was closer to you than I was with Brittany. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, fuck, what the fuck am I doing? Like, yeah. I understand that. I like. But like I said, like, had I won HOH, it's not like I would have fucking put you up. No. I would have sat in that room and been like, okay, now will you tell me, like, yeah. some shit? And like, tell me where there's wiggle room? Yeah. Like, right now there's no wiggle room. And yeah. That's fine. Yeah, for sure. I'll do like what I gotta do and wait for something to change now. Yeah. But to vote out the one person who is a, a buffer. Yeah. And I told you multiple times, I begged you like not to do this. Yeah. I just, yeah, I know. I didn't. And just because you and Jordan feel 100% good with everybody else in here except maybe one person. I can't just be yeah. on board with that yeah. to fuck my own game over. Yeah, I understand that. I appreciate you being sweet to me still because you know as a person I fucking adore you and I think, and I, for her is my favorite person in this fucking house. Yeah. Kill me. I just like I really don't want like you to think that I was like purposely trying to manipulate. Implying if he does something. If he does, it honestly came from one of you guys. Not me and Bruno. That's fucking
Are you serious? Dead serious. Well, let's tell you straight up, it's not for me and Burr. That'd be the stupidest game to buy us. What the hell? No fucking way. Well, he came in here. How does that even make sense? Chop, chop. I don't know. He came in here and he was like, we were just talking like normal, and then he dropped. He was like, out of nowhere, he's like, yeah, I should probably take my bike to the chop shop. But he mentioned it, like, if he wouldn't have probably brought that even up if, like, you understand what I'm saying? If, like, me well, it was him trying to be funny and trying to be like, haha, like, I know something. Maybe that's just. Who just randomly says that? He knows something. That's random. Well, I'm telling you straight up right now, it did not come from me and Bruno. That scares me if, if you're serious right now, if you're not just trying to, like, get a read from me. No, <laughs> I'm not. What would be the point? He straight up just said that to me. I don't know what to tell you. I told you guys, okay, I was gonna evict him this week. It's not some weird thing that we got going. What the heck, dude? What was that even? Is that a saying or something? That... I've never heard it. Like. I'll ask Bruno, but I don't, I honestly don't think he said anything. Not gonna. Bruno tells me everything, Ash. Yeah. I... Bruno literally tells me everything. Well, There's no way he, no. No fucking way. Well, we don't trust knows, Godfrey enough. Well, he knows something. Clearly, he knows something. Then it came from Will or Zach. Oh my god. I'm telling you. Okay, well, I'm gonna it find out. It did not out. come from me and Bruno at all. Okay, now I'm gonna ask them. I'll find out. Do you think it could have been a fluke? I don't know. I don't know. But whatever. Oh my gosh. What the heck was that even? What the f. <sighs> it's a scary question. Yeah. Like, what the heck? What? And we were not even talking anything about bikes and stuff. And it was like this moment of like two minute silence, and he's just like, Yeah, I should probably try and take my bike to the chop shop. I'll ask Bruno. I'll talk to, I'll talk to other people. <laughs> That's okay. I'll ask Bruno.